what do you see as being the key trends in health and safety in recent years? What what are people talking about nowadays? Um, look, there's there's been a trend over the last year or so about doing safety differently, uh, and I understand the underpinning concept that sits behind it. In, in, indeed, it's um, it, it's really a bit of an output from some work done down in Australia with a friend of mine, Sydney Decker, and some others. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea of safety differently presupposes that there must be something wrong with the way we're doing safety at the moment. Uh, and I don't think that safety is broken. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this idea that there's something wrong with the way we're doing safety simply because people are still dying at work is, is a bit of a fallacy here. Now, I'm, I'm not saying it's acceptable to have people killed at work. In fact, entirely the opposite is my view. Mm -hmm. But we've got to remember that this is an evolution not a revolution. It's step by step by step. But in many countries around the world and in most industrial sectors, we've seen great progress, positively reducing the numbers of accidents and increasing the number of people that go home without harm every day. So I, I think things like safety differently and safety one and safety two, the, the concepts coming from uh, Eric Holnagel, we, we can learn from these things, but we, we mustn't throw the baby out from the bathwater uh, and make yep. sure we use to to learn how to think differently, but building on the foundations that we've already created. So, so I think there's a trend that that seems to be popular just now. And of course, beyond that, there's uh, that there's been a focus on behaviour-based safety over the last probably 10 to 20 years. And and, and it's good to see behaviour-based safety being talked about more in in, uh, in perhaps a more legitimate way. Of course, BBS as we know it today has come out of the work of psychologists like Boris Skinner and Jean Piaget and, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, people like Deborah Lupton who focused on operant conditioning or giving feedback in real time to people about what <laughs> they're doing. And, yeah. um, I, and I think we just need to unpick what that really means. And instead of telling people to put your glasses on or to remember to follow the rules, thinking that's good behavioral feedback, I think we need to balance that with some more positivity too and recognizing people for the contributions that they make. Mm-hmm.